it's early afternoon on Saturday, the 7th of January. Uh, it's been pouring the rain all morning, been a horrible morning. But uh, the sky's broken a wee bit now, and there's a lot of mist lying about in the valley, so just basically a run out to, to see if we can get any of these moody sort of Scottish photos where you get the misty, the misty trees, the misty fields, the misty valleys, etc. Some guy out running. I thought about that once. Anyway, looks like I'm heading up by the glens. Um, fair bit of mist hanging up there. I put the drone up at the house first, and out of the Dundee direction looked pretty clear. Back towards Lintrathan, uh, Knordy, and that looked clear. But the only place it looked kind of still misty was up by the glens here. So taking a wee run up. Hope it's not like the usual that you get there and all the mist gone. Anyway, we'll see how we go. At the moment I'm heading up to the glens, whether I go up Glen Clover or Glen Frozen, not quite sure. Uh, probably decide just before we come to the fork in the road. I can see some some mist up in the hills rising up. So see how we do. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. I've stopped here at a wee corner up Glen Clover. Uh, as you can see, the mist looking pretty good. A wee break in the sky might make some interesting stuff. I'm just going to go to a style here. <sighs> Trying to break my neck. We'll have a look down at the river. We'll have a look down towards the river and see, uh, see what like it is. See what's worth putting out there. Getting a tripod out and getting a drone out and doing some pictures. I used to come down here fishing with a club. Used to be one good pool, but. Just a hell of a walk up and down just for one pool of fishing. Well, a lot further away than I remember as well. What the hell did I used to go down there? That must have been before I had knackered lungs. Christ almighty, I can't remember going through that. But anyway. Maybe it was a wee bit further on up this way we used to go down. Good old gnarly looking old silver birch. I'm going to get back in the car and head further up the glen. Nothing really not much inspiring here. It's getting a wee bit breezy too, so that fog will, will disappear quickly. I like to get the silhouette of the, the trees with the leaves on them, make for bonny pictures with the fog behind and then maybe a hill behind that just appearing and disappearing into the mist. Typical Scottish weather, Scottish countryside. Wouldn't they swap it for anything? Apart from maybe a month in the Caribbean, but apart from that. Anyway. That's where we used to take the kids sledging in the winter. And the grandkids. Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. It's amazing how the weather changes in Scotland. I did a wee uh, YouTube video up here about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, maybe just before Christmas, and uh, everything was white. It was beautiful. Got some really good drone pictures that day. If you want to go into YouTube, you'll see the video. And it was about the middle part of Glen Clover, which is what we're in just now, and as far up as Clover Hotel, which from is probably as far as we'll go today, then turn around and come back down the other side of the glen. This is the left hand side going up 
what I call the left hand side anyway. Uh, when you get to the, the junction it takes you down to get a brig down the left hand road. <coughs> Been a lot of rain up here, everything's soaking. Four seasons in a day. It's a river across there, just a slow meandering bit of water, but uh, looks like it's been over its banks. You can see at the bit of the, the fence there, and just see the fence here. But everything's built up against the fence, so obviously the water's been a fair height. It's starting to get a wee bit brighter, although it's heavy rain just now, but. Never say never. Be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me. I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then, baby, have a taste. All the highs and the lows. No, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today. I promise that I've never felt this way. That's the river is actually in amongst all that. Uh, only, the only way you can tell where it is is a wee bit current and you see the fence. It's only been a lot of water again. I think a lot of snow melt because the hills are looking pretty bare now. Uh, there was a lot of snow in them for a while there. And as I say, the ice has probably melted now. Six degrees in the car, so hell of a lot warmer than it was a few weeks ago. It's only a fair bit of water on the roads when you see it. I think the river, the banks has been burst probably during the night or early this morning it's starting to fall back a wee bit again with all the forestry work that's been done cutting the trees down over the years the stuff drains off really quickly off the hill and um, doesn't get held on the hills the same the way it used to so it drains down pretty quick I've parked in at this gate just before Clover Hotel um, just because of the way the mist's hanging about on the tops of the hills it just makes for, I wouldn't say really beautiful photogenic pictures but makes for moody kind of pictures, typical Scottish weather so uh, I'm going to go, I'm just going to hand hold them there's quite a few, there's a good strainer post there at the gate so we'll put the camera on that and uh, have a go at that. Cheers. That's me past the hotel now and come round, turn round just on the downside of the glen, upside of the glen, other side of the glen. Burdens are fair flow in the day. A lot of water going down if you think of a a hundred or a few hundred burns like that running off the hills going into the river it's, it's no surprising it gets so high so quick it spates off and disappears that's it we're just going up to Loch Heath so we'll, uh, we'll see what like it is I would imagine all the ice is gone by now well, I was actually wrong there's still a fair bit of ice on the loch I wouldn't imagine it's thick, I would imagine it's more a slushy kind of an ice, but still there. Fish will be sitting motionless on the bottom. Gives them a good rest before they start to uh, start getting insects in the water to build up some weight again. Well that's me uh, 
weld in the middle part of the glen again. Horrible drizzle still, but you can see bright sky across Bikiri where we came from. So maybe the weather's still broken in that direction. The, the mist is just hanging about the hills. The way, the way I like it, I must admit, but uh, I'm not holding out for any any decent photographs today. Just one of the kind of days. <coughs> And a red kite just uh, soaring above me in front of the car. Don't know if this lens is too wide angle for you to see it, but I'll put it out on it and see if you see them. Beautiful birds. A lot more common now than they used to be. I think I'm right in saying they were introduced to some place in the country and they've just sort of flourished since then. You don't realise how big they are until you see them next to a, a buzzard or the, a buzzard and a, a kite sort of in a fight in mid-air. I don't know how much of a predator they are and how much of a scavenger they are, I'm not too sure. I think all these things are the same, like buzzards and kites and what have you. I think they would rather eat roadkill rather than uh, have to go and kill. Anyway, rattle burn. That's that famous clover tree that I took a picture of a couple of weeks ago. Uh, most photographed tree in Glen Clover, if not Scotland. <laughs> uh, stand there with the, the bonny blue sky behind it, so I'm going to get out and take a photo. Just can't help myself. It, it's like a magnet, it just attracts photographers. So it'll just be a silhouette in this picture, but that's all I'm aiming for. Against the the brighter looking sky and maybe with a road leading you into it. So if it's a worthwhile shot, here you go. I'll post it now. Well, it's a totally different day when you get down here to the Gala Brig. Sun's actually trying to shine on the hills there. Looks like uh, some flowers and what have you left on the bench here. Loving memory of Harry and Dorothy Miller from all the family. It's a nice wee touch to see up the glen. Nice to see that. Well, it's fared up now. Uh, fairly windy. Not sure how the wee drone would handle it. Uh, we'll put it up and, and have a go, see how we go on. See if it gets blown away and ends up in the way the wind blowing. That way, Glendall. We'll put up the wee one, the uh, Mini Pro, the Mini 3 Pro. Give it a wee go. If there's any good footage for we'll, uh, or photographs or both, I'll post them up. I just bought this wee drone a few weeks ago. Um, I was very impressed with some of the photographs and videos that I'd seen with other guys that I know posting them up. It's the it's the same size as the Mini 2 that I had. Uh, it's 249 grams, which keeps it below the the ceiling of regulations but gives you some good, really good quality pictures and, and videos. But I've not really had much of a chance to try it out. Also, rather than use the phone um, adapter, you buy this with it, which it does cost a bit extra money, but on saying that, it, it, you don't have all the mucking about of putting your iPhone or, or whatever phone, you don't have all the mucking about of putting it into it and, and you know, setting it up, just take it out, ready to go. Switch on. And that's it. So we'll go and see if we're going to get blown away or no. Um, and if we do, I'll probably go him in tears. Oh, 
Well, it's up in the air, well, it's handling the wind pretty good. I got up there a wee minute ago. So, uh, see if we can get some worthwhile pictures with it or what have you. Tiny dot in the sky, I suspect. Anyway, sun's shining up the glen there a wee bit, so we'll take it uh, out of the river and have a go. Well, that's a few shots taken up the glen. Uh, some auto exposure bracketing shots, see how that works on it. So we'll, we'll get them down now and uh, head on back home, I think. I would say this is no easy to film this and control it with one hand. Got something worth showing you on that one. There's that sun coming out even brighter now up the glen there. I should just shove it up for a few minutes more. Always the same, it changes. See the sunlight on the water now, or the brightness on the water now. I'll try and let you see uh, just a wee bit of what I'm seeing, although I'm never successful usually uh, when I'm showing you in the back of the camera, but I'll, I'll keep it back a bit this time from it. The hatched out areas are where the sky's a wee bit overexposed, a wee bit bright, but I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to leave that at the shutter speed I've got because really it's. Uh, we'll sort it out in lightning. I've got some pictures with the drone there to show you just how much flooding there is in the glen or how much there has been in the glen. Actually it looks like it's going to be a bit worse since I've been coming up here, since I've come up here today. Maybe just the uh, water running down off the hills and what have you. It's actually plenty in the burns and plenty in the river. So it's been another, uh, another wee adventure out in the Scottish countryside on a brief day. Not too cold. Hopefully my nose is running. But uh, not too cold. Maybe I've got some pictures, a wee bit of video, just a wee bit of everything to, to give you a wee bit of interest as to, to what it was like. It's certainly a lot brighter as I get down near our carry. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, as usual, uh, a wee we press on that like button and uh, a subscribe would be brilliant thanks. So I hope you enjoy it, I have enjoyed making it and until next time, take care.